My name is Jean-Christophe Charlier. I, I'm Belgian and I'm working at the University of Louvain in Belgium. And I'm also senior researcher at the National Fund of Scientific Research of, of Belgium. And my work is mainly focusing on ab initio computational uh, simulation. So what I'm, I'm doing mainly is to uh, simulate uh, the properties of materials using a specific branch of, of physics which is called quantum mechanics. So the theory that we are using is a density functional theory and uh, this theory is quite powerful. You can have access to uh, cohesive energy of materials, the electronic properties, so to know if, for example, the material is metallic or semiconducting. You can also have access to dynamic properties like uh, the vibration in the materials, so you can, you can for example, predict uh, thermal conductions and things like that. So it's quite interesting, it's a quite interesting tools and uh, uh, in order to use these tools and this uh, theory, we need a big computer and we have such kind of big computer in Louvain-la-Neuve. So the, this computer is called Le Maître and you have a really a big machine that we are, uh, that we make use a lot in this, uh, in this laboratory. Now that I've explained about uh, the, 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 the type of, of work that I'm doing, I'm going to explain what, what kind of material I'm uh, looking at. So the, the, for about um, 15 years now, I'm working on uh, carbon nanotubes and other carbon nanostructures. And uh, this is quite interesting because it's a, it's a new field of, of research and uh, very interesting. Carbon nanotubes are, for example, extremely resistant uh, wire. So it's, it's better, for example, than steel. And uh, you have also very important electronic and uh, uh, thermal properties on, on this material. So really carbon nanotubes are uh, materials for, for the future, either in nanoelectronics and also uh, in um, composite materials and so on. So we are using the theory to explain the properties of these uh, very tiny materials. And in this project, in fact, we are going to, to use both to uh, investigate uh, a device which will probably detect a single molecule in a gas of, of, of gas in, a, in an environment. So it's a quite applicable project, but it's quite interesting and quite challenging too. 